Allah swears by these days, and this is something that you hear often in the tafsir, but the virtues of that or the benefits of that or how Allah swears by these days is often not spoken about. So we know that in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرِ Allah swears by the dawn, and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears by the ten nights. وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرِ and then Allah swears by al-shaf'i wal-watr. Allah swears by the, uh, the, the even and the odd. Wal-layli idha yasr. And Allah swears by the last part of the night. So what is the benefit of that and what does this refer to? Well, according to the majority of the scholars, in fact, that uh, Imam al-Tabari, may Allah have mercy on him, said that this is the consensus of the scholars. These 10 nights that Allah swears by are the first 10 of the hijjah And that is a sign of its virtue that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would honor it with an oath. Uh, some of the scholars, a minor opinion is that they're the last 10 nights of Ramadan. And some of the scholars actually mentioned, uh, also a minor opinion, that uh, Allah does not use uh, or, or the 10 days. So because Allah does not use any uh, definite article to refer to Al, that these are the only 10 nights, they say that it can refer to two sets of 10 nights. So it could refer to both the first 10 days of the Hijjah as well as the last 10 nights of Ramadan because it simply swears by 10 nights as opposed to the 10 nights. The point being though, they definitely, or according to the vast majority of the scholars, refer to those 10 days and, uh, and, and you know, that come in the beginning of the Hijjah. Now, some of the scholars talked about, well, how come Allah uses walayal, the nights instead of the days? When we know the most virtuous nights of the year are the last 10 nights of Ramadan and the most virtuous days of the year are the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And the scholars of the Arabic language and the scholars of the Quran will point to the fact that uh, layal and ayam in Arabic are often interchangeable. Days and nights are often interchangeable in their usage. And there might be something with the eloquence of it or the flow of it that would determine the usage of night or day and this is the case, for example, with Zakaria alayhi salam, where there's a theme when Allah talks about the Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam. And Allah talks about the three days that he was uh, given an oath of silence. And in one place, Allah refers to it as ayyam, and Allah, in another place, Allah refers to it as layat, as days or as nights. So it's often done in the Quran, or it's often done at least in the Arabic language, that these two will be used interchangeable. And even though Allah says, وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرٍ Allah swears by ten nights, uh, it is referring to the first ten of the hijjah Some of the scholars also said that when Allah says, fajr when Allah refers to, when He swears by the fajr Allah is swearing by the fajr of the day of Eid, which is right after Arafah and the day of the sacrifice. So Allah is swearing by a very particular fajr a very particular uh, dawn. Now, what is the benefit of this flow though? If you pay attention to this, Allah is swearing by the best part of the day. Then Allah swears by the best days of the year. Then Allah swears by the best days of those days. Then Allah swears by the best part of the night. So Fajr is the best part of the day. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Burika li ummati fi bukuriha, that Allah has placed blessing in the early morning hours. There are things that can be done between Fajr and sunrise that cannot be done throughout the day. So it's the most blessed part of the day. It's the time that you find your greatest energy. It's the time that you find that your deeds are amplified, that you can start the day off right. So even sitting in the masjid and remembering Allah between Fajr and sunrise, the Prophet Sallallahu said is the reward of Hajj. So it's the most blessed part of the day and most people miss the opportunity of it. Then Allah swears by the most blessed days of the year in the first 10 days of the Hijjah. And then according to narrations, uh, the even and the odd would refer to the day of the sacrifice, Yawm al-Nahr, the day of Eid being the even, the 10th of the hijjah and Arafah, which is the most blessed day, the 9th of the hijjah So Allah takes the most blessed days of the 10 days and swears by them in particular. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swears specifically by the night as it starts to leave you, meaning the last part of the night, which is the time of Qiyam, the most blessed time of prayer, the, the time of a sahr the time where we would feed ourselves physically if we were to fast and feed ourselves spiritually, whether we're fasting or not, in those last times of the night, those last parts of the night. So what is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala emphasizing here for us? And what's the lesson that we can take from this? Other than Allah has honored these times of the day, these times of the year, these times of the night. What we can take from this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us blessed seasons throughout the year, blessed months, a blessed day of the week, 
blessed times of the day and that a person who is seeking the blessing of Allah will always seek to get ahead by making use of those times and that most people will not make use of those times and as a result of that will fall behind and that is not from a lack of mercy or a lack of justice on the part of the Lord but it is instead a time where we would prove neglectful and where we need to remind ourselves that Allah has given us ample opportunities to do things to please Him. So these are times that people typically don't take advantage of. And, and you know, again, most people miss these days. They don't miss Ramadan. Most people miss the blessings of these days. Most people are not doing anything spectacular in terms of their remembrance, in terms of their good deeds, especially in the first eight days of the Hijjah. Maybe on the day of Arafah, but the first eight days of the Hijjah. And this is where people really shine. And it's important to mention this here because in Ramadan, everyone is worshiping Allah. Everyone's fasting. Everyone's doing certain things. But you really want to shine in, in the sight of Allah, then that time after Fajr, where most people go back to sleep, if they even woke up in the first place, shine in the morning. Get a head start on your good deeds. Get a head start on your productivity. You really want to shine? Take advantage of these 10 days that are better than the entire year. You really want to shine? Wake up a little bit before Fajr when most people are still sleeping at night and invoke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at a time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala truly favors His chosen servants in those moments. So this is your time to shine. Don't lose the opportunity and that's the blessing of Allah swearing by these blessed times or one of the wisdoms of it for us. And I'll just mention here that some of the scholars also mentioned shahidin wa mashhud, the witnessed and the witnessed are, are referring to Arafah and Jum'ah because the day of Arafah and the day of Jum'ah share many similar traits. So just as the day of Arafah is the best day of the year, the day of Jum'ah is the best day of the week. Just as the time between Asr and Maghrib is a time where we should increase dua on the day of Arafah, it's a time according to an authentic narration that on the day of Jum'ah, we should increase our dua, we should increase our supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not made the days of the year equal, nor has He made all of the timings the same. Rather, Allah has preferred certain timings over others, and He has blessed certain periods over other periods. And in this is a great blessing from Allah. Because if all of the time had been the same, if all of the days had been the same, if all of the periods had been the same, then we would not be enthused at certain times of the year over others. Rather, we would have the same amount of energy throughout the entire year. So the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen certain days over others is a time for us to, to be extra good on those days. And of course, of the days that Allah has chosen is Friday. Friday is the most blessed day of the week. And of the months that Allah has chosen is Ramadan. Ramadan is the most blessed month of the year. But do you know that there are some days that are even more blessed than Friday and in fact even more blessed than Ramadan? Yes indeed, there are days that are more blessed than the days of Ramadan. Do you know what those days are? Those days are the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. And this is a time period, my dear brothers and sisters, that many people of the Muslim Ummah are unaware of the superiority of these 10 days. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that there are no days of the year that are more beloved to Allah that a person does good in those days than the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. A man said, O Messenger of Allah, even jihad, Allah does not like jihad even more than He likes these uh, doing good deeds in these 10 days. And the Prophet ﷺ said, even jihad, except if a man leaves with all of his property and all of his, his belongings and money and life, and he dies a martyr in the battle, that is the only thing that is more beloved than a person who is practicing and praying and being a good Muslim for these 10 days. So these 10 days are the most blessed days of the year. In another hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, there are not any days of the year that are holier than these 10 days of Dhul Hijjah. Therefore, increase in doing good deeds to Allah, and increase in saying Allahu Akbar, and saying Alhamdulillah, and saying La ilaha illallah. So increase in doing your dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, these 10 days are the holiest days of the year. And Allah swears by these days in the Quran when Allah says, وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالٍ عَشْرٍ Allah swears by Fajr and then the 10 nights or the 10 days. And scholars of, uh, of Islam have said, the 10 nights that Allah swears on are these nights or the days of Dhul Hijjah.